Okay, everybody. Today, a bit of a different video. I'm gonna go over how to get rid of loot points. Now, if you've clicked on this video, you probably know what they are and why they're annoying. But I'll just give a little demonstration. So, I'll open up uh, a uh, Cymatics hi-hat uh, from the Drill Essentials drum kit. I think this one, I think all of them actually do. So, I've opened a new channel. And you can see use loot points is ticked on. Now to fully eliminate this problem, you just need to untick this, but that doesn't save, which is a very, very annoying problem. So if you untick it and then just use it and then open it in a new project, like the same sound in a new project, it'll go back to being ticked. Very, very annoying problem because in the sample data, there's a loot point. And to fully solve this problem, you need to remove the data in the sample that says loop these two points. The problem with the loop points, I'll just turn it back on and you can hear the problem. So it's supposed to just hit one, two, three, four. You hear that won't happen. You turn them off. It acts normally. So how do I get rid of loop points from an entire drum kit or all of my sounds what if you've got loot points on every single sound that you've ever downloaded and every time you load them in you have to open up the sample and then untick use loot points for nine different sounds super super annoying there is a free tool you can download it it's called Wavasaw um, I'll open this up here we go Wavasaw so to test that this actually deletes loot points what I'm going to do um, before applying the processing, I'll just uh, open up a file. Got my file explorer here. What I'm going to do, navigate to a certain sound, drum one shot, might go to the stutter hi hat. So I'll drag the stutter hi hat in here. And you can see I'll click on it, use loop points, I'll place it down, same pattern. And this is what it will sound like. So the loop point's getting very annoying. Here's what it should just sound like normally. I'll just demonstrate now uh, the processing and what that'll do to every single sound that you select. Back in Wavasaw now, what you're gonna wanna do, go to Tools, Batch Processor, and then under the Directories heading, you select your source and destination. So the source will be uh, the, all the sounds that you want to effect. So if you've got a certain file that's got all sounds with loop points, like a certain drum kit folder, then you'll select that one. Or if all of your sounds do, or if, you, if you're like mixed around in your drum kit folder, what you can do, select your whole drum kit folder, and then the destination is actually going to be the same place as the source. So I'll demonstrate that now. So you can see here, D drum kits, cymatics, cymatics draw essential drum kit, and then the destination is the same thing. So all of the sounds in the Drill Essential Drum Kit is what I'm trying to remove loop points from. Now under Function, I think it should start at like normalize 0 dB, but right at the bottom at the end, delete loop point, that's the one you're going to want, and you're just going to hit Start. Okay, you get the message, uh, batch processing finished, then all of that should be done. There should be no loop points now in the uh, place you selected, so we'll close that, we'll close Wavasaw, and now we're back in FL. I'll open up this folder again, and we can see the stutter hi-hat. Um, I'll refresh this, uh, you can go here and then refresh. This stutter hi-hat, I'll actually delete this. So it's loaded in with loop points, you can see that red thing means it's got loop points. Delete that. Open up the folder again, stutter hi-hat, or shutter hi-hat. Drag it out, no loop points. So, haven't pressed anything, haven't changed anything. And the loop points are gone. Works like magic. I will leave a link to Wavasaw down below. Um, there's probably a couple tutorials on how to do this, but I couldn't find any specifically for drum kits, which I think there is a definite lack of. Big producers putting out drum kits with loop points. Super annoying, uh, really just not not up to scratch to be honest like it's easy 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 to do that's not the sort of service you're going to want to be paying for when you're buying these drum kits like i bought that drill essentials drum kit loot points come on man anyway i hope that helped 
I would recommend applying this to all of your drum kits, so like your big drum kit folder. It will take a while, but uh, you never have to deal with loot points again, unless you install another folder. But that's about it. Thank you for watching, hope this helped. Make sure to like, never upload a drum kit with loot points, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.